Mr. Blackstone, why do you jog? Because it's a healthy thing to do. It makes me feel good. How long have you been doing it? I think about 35, 40 years, maybe longer than that. Uh -huh. What's it done for you? I think it helps to keep me in good, good physical condition. Mm -hmm. I am in, I would say, almost perfect physical condition. <coughs> for a man of my age to do what I do physically, I have to be in good condition. Well, now, what does your doctor say about all this? Does he approve uh, your, your uh, uh, jogging at uh, age 101? Well, actually, I don't have a regular doctor. I, um, I go occasionally to the doctor, but he says, you're not, why do you come to see me for? You're all right, there's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> you know, you just about to save that money. So you think uh, maybe the secret is because you haven't seen a doctor? <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> But I, I think that, uh, I think that uh, if you depend on yourself mm -hmm. and God and take care of yourself, I think you're all going to be all right. Well, well, okay. Mr. Blackstone, you were born just a few years after President Lincoln was assassinated, and you've seen a lot of changes. Uh, what do you think about this modern day age and the people and the age we're living in? I, <coughs> that's a big question. Some things are good and some things are bad. I, I don't see, I think we have too much anarchy in the world. Uh, uh, revolution in countries, revolution in families, revolution in uh, public uh, people against the government, and, rev and children, rev uh, revolution against their parents. They don't, they don't respect the parents anymore like they did mm -hmm. years gone by. I think that is really the seat of much of our trouble. There's not enough family life. Mm -hmm. Well, now, you're uh, you quite active yourself in business. You run a florist stop in, uh, shop in Washington. Uh, how uh, does, that, uh, does that keep you uh, interested? I think it does. I think flowers are one of the most interesting things you can handle. They're beautiful and you have a, a wonderful lot of people to do business with. No one ever comes into a flower show, a shop when they're mad with somebody. They are, it's a matter of love. They're buying flowers because they want to express their love for someone. And that is a secret, one of the secrets of the flower business. Does, does the White House buy uh, your flowers? I have furnished flowers for the White House. I furnished the flowers for Alice Roosevelt's wedding party, and I furnished the flowers for the one of the um, Wilson girls when she married William G. McAdoo. I finished her bouquets. But now they have their own florists. Mm -hmm. Well, happy 102nd birthday when you have it. Thank you very much. I hope that, uh, that uh, 102nd, I'm looking forward to more than that. I'm looking forward to 110. Allá y para acá hay tanto odio, no se puede crecer el mundo.